you have probably bought from the Amazon's Great Indian Festive Sale, right? But have you ever wondered like how Amazon manages 50 million requests per minute without crashing while the whole country is shopping at the same time? Well, this is day one of learning system design. Think about it. So when the sale starts, the traffic goes up to 94 times the normal traffic. So the normal servers won't work and will instantly crash. So this is where exactly auto scaling comes in. Auto scaling, what it does is, suppose the number of users are 1000 and instantly as soon as the sale starts, the number of users go up to hundreds of thousands of users. So auto scaling deploys new servers in real time according to the usage. What it does is it, it checks the CPU requirements and the request queues for all the current servers that are there and if they are not able to fulfill the requirements it auto deploys new servers and reroute the request to those new servers. So this is the concept of auto scaling after the sale ends it shuts down all those created servers and brings back to the normal state. One question I wanted to ask you, we use auto scaling in this case, but what if we don't want to send all the requests to our server and instead of that use some other technique so that the number of requests to the servers are minimized. What's your suggestion? Let me know in the comments.